All right, 580.9 yards. 581 yards. All right, folks. Woo, man, you talk about a blustery day. It was like 72 degrees yesterday in Ohio. Now it's back down to 40. I got like uh, 12 to 15 mile an hour northwest winds, probably about 1030. Got the target at 581 yards. Shooter apps calling for three mils come up. Testing the new Hodgson Powder Stayball HD. Burn rate is similar to Rotombo. Got the phone scope going on. See if I get some shots on target. Here we go. Impact. Impact, that's dead center bullseye. I held actually a little bit low, and on the left edge, I'm gonna come down two tenths of a mil. We'll just keep the windage the same. Impact. Impact, well, I tell you what. The 6.8 Western just hammers, stay tuned. This is my Browning X-Bolt Max Long Range 6.8 Western. Today I'm testing the Hodgson Powder Stayball HD. Great for the Magnum rounds. It's a gorgeous rifle. This is a custom McGowan precision rifle barrel, straight flutes. Got the Energetic Armament Lux 6.5 can up front. Just shooting off a tripod with the Arca Swiss rail. Target in the distance, 581 yards. Stay tuned. Give you an idea of what it looks like through the 18 power scope. 581 yards. You can barely see with the naked eye. See the wind is blowing pretty strong. It's blowing 15 miles an hour, probably about a 1030 wind northwest. All right, folks, let's talk a little bit about the new Hodgson Powder Stayball HD. Burn rate is similar to Rotumbo. It's actually on the new Hodgson burn rate chart. It's one level below where tumble, it's a little bit slower. I think it's like, uh, I'm just off the top of my head, I think it's like four or five places below H1000, which was my go-to powder for the 6.8 Western with the Sierra 175 grain uh, TGKs. However, h 1000s like large rifle Magnum primers, man. They're like just hard to find. So anyways, I think this is an awesome powder. I actually just worked up some loads uh, yesterday, and man, they're shooting half half minute at 100 yards. And I'm, you know, I'm just banging this target at 581 yards. Uh, the velocity I'm getting is 2,889 feet per second, which is a little bit faster than what Hodgson uh, showed on their website. Of course, keep in mind, I've got some special brass. This is actually roberson brass uh these are actually cnc turned on a mill and i'll tell you what the price is not for the faint of heart these are about six bucks a pop but i'll tell you what i think they're gonna work out awesome uh the process is pretty complex i'm gonna do another video on these later on uh one thing you gotta keep in mind on the hodgson uh reloading website their powder charges are based on probably standard Winchester or Browning brass, which I measured has a larger water case capacity than these Robersons. I think my Winchester Browning brass is around 75 to 76 grains of water capacity. These are only 71 grains. So these are significantly thicker brass, less water case capacity. Therefore, your powder charge has to be dropped down accordingly. Let's go ahead and shoot some more. Let me get the phone scope turned on. All right. But I tell you what, <laughs> that north wind's a... Okay, here we go. Impact. 
Get back. Get back. Impact. Impact, man, it just hammers that steel, let me tell you. So the other thing I love about this new Hodgson Powder Stay Ball HD, besides the fact that it's available, is that it is a obviously a ball powder. You know, historically, you know, I've been, uh, shooting and reloading for almost, my gosh, 40 years now, 35 years. And for the longest time, extruded or stick powder was about your most te temperature insensitive. And for some of you guys that don't know what temperature insensitive is defined as, it's the ability for a powder to be insensitive, unaffected by powder change, uh, temperature changes. For instance, Yesterday in my basement, it was probably about 72 degrees. Right now it's probably about 40, 38 degrees with about 27, 28 degree wind chill. So definitely a, a temperature swing. Uh, however, the biggest thing is obviously when it gets hotter. So in the summertime, I'm going to uh, chronograph these loads, see if we get any, uh, any uh, delta changes in the actual velocity. I highly doubt it. The engineers at Hodgson Powder obviously know what they're doing. The Stay Ball line of powders is an awesome line. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I got the phone scope zoomed all the way out. Hopefully we catch some cool bullet traces. I'm gonna finish out these last four rounds. All right, here we go. Impact. Even at 581 yards, there is a time delay from the shot to the sound of the steel hitting. Impact. Impact! All right, last one, here we go. Impact! All right, folks, I'll tell you what, if you guys are looking for a slower burning powder for your Magnum rifles, like your 6.5 PRC, your 7 PRC, uh, any of the uh, Remington, short magnums or magnum cases. This is the powder to choose, folks. It meters like a dream. You know, no more sticky kernels getting stuck in your powder measure. Uh, like I said, this summer I'll be doing another video on the temperature insensitivity of the powder. So this Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors, remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later. Stay tuned, I got another video on another hydrogen powder, Stay Ball match similar burn rate to Varget. Thank you. Hydrogen Powder HD. Like the postman, it delivers. <laughs> <laughs>